Alright, so after popular demand, I've decided to make an in-depth video on how to calculate a 45 degree offset for any type of piping system, whether it's steel, copper or plastic, by using simple math techniques that everyone can do. If you guys haven't already considered subscribing, go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the bell image to get notified of my next videos. Also, if you feel like supporting the channel, head over to patreon.com slash got to learn and become a patron. This trick is perfect if you're a residential or a commercial plumber. At the end of this video, you'll want to use this trick as it's so easy to use and it'll make your plumbing tasks so much easier. Alright, so let's go back to school for a second and remember what a hypotenuse is. In geometry, a hypotenuse is the longest side of a right angle triangle, the side opposite of the right angle. The length of a hypotenuse of a right triangle can be found using the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem can be used several ways, but today I'll be showing you the easiest possible way to do it. Another important step is removing the small portion of each fitting from your equation like you see here. For now, we'll mark a small reference dot in the middle of the fitting as such and come back to it later. So let's take a look at a schematic that I drew earlier that represents a pipe being offset at a 45 degree angle to get past the hot water tank as seen here. Let's just say that this pipe is a 1 inch copper drain line from a steam boiler that needs to go from point A to point B. Now, the one thing that you have to remember when using this technique is to always measure the center of the pipe and fittings as a reference for it to work. The first thing you need to do is find a straight reference point such as a wall or whatnot to use for measuring the distance between both pipe centers. If you could do this without a reference point due to them being very close together, use this method as it removes any falsifying that could occur if measuring from a crooked reference point. You could also use a laser or straight edge on the pipe to accomplish this. Once you've found the measurement between both pipes, multiply that number by 1.4142 to get your hypotenuse or diagonal pipe measurement. Since your measurements were taken from center to center, it's now easy to remove the fittings out of the equation and here's how to do it. Grab your fitting and lay it on its side to be able to properly see how much you need to remove. Now, you remember that mark that we drew earlier? Well, we'll use it as a reference point so we could better understand why we need to subtract from our diagonal pipe. The reason why we do this is if we don't, the length of the pipe will be too great and your measurement will be off. So calculate from the center of the fitting, or the black mark in this case, to the end of the hub portion. This measurement needs to be subtracted two times since you have two 45 degree fittings and you'll be left with your final pipe which is now the correct length. This technique works on any fitting that needs a 45 degree offset whether it's up on a ceiling or if it's an underground pipe. It's a much more professional way of completing this task and should be in your book of things to know. As a bonus, I put together a series of fitting specification charts such as cast iron, copper, PVC and asbestos for storm drains, etc. that give all the dimensions to all the fittings in case you don't have them on hand. If this information helped you better understand how to calculate a 45 degree offset, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And until the next video, thanks for watching.